Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris Bruner here with Chris Bruner Photography. So today we're going to do a mini reveal of a couple of photographs that I had printed on a Lumina photograph. Uh, both of them are 20 by 30 inches in size and uh, the other two photographs that I offer printed on aluminum will be a photograph entitled Switzerland number 31. Uh, that's a picture of uh, two bicycles in Zurich, Switzerland. A uh, blue bike and a pink bike. They're set up really neat. Uh, nice photograph. And then finally, the last picture that I offer printed on aluminum will be entitled Carolina number 54. And that's a photograph of the Angel Oak, which is down on Sullivan's Island in Charleston. Uh, it's claimed to be the oldest tree on the East Coast, roughly 550 years old. Uh, it's just a really magnificent uh, live oak tree. So if you ever get a chance and you're in Charleston, South Carolina, you got to go up to uh, John's Island and you got to go look at the, uh, the angel oak tree. So hey, let's take a look at these pictures and let's, uh, let's do a reveal.
Okay, so there we have it. Two photographs, unboxed, unpackaged, and on the wall. The first picture, France, number 59. That photograph was taken in December of 2016. It was early in the morning. It was, it was a Sunday morning. It had rained all night, and I went out early. I had the entire Eiffel Tower to myself. There was literally no one else around. So I had an hour and a half to two hours to kind of move around and find a great shot. I came, in, came away with that shot, very happy with it. The second photograph is entitled Downtown Number 27. That picture is from right here in Greenville, South Carolina. I took it in November, and I took it at night, as you can tell, because it was dark. But it was a cool evening, so it was very crisp, clean air. Really, there was no haze in the air. So that made for just a great nighttime photograph. I used a tripod, long exposure, and I was able to capture all the unique colors that really reside right here in downtown Greenville. Now, hey, as far as care for aluminum prints, the suggestion is to wash them with a mild soap and water, a non-ammonia-based soap. I personally use a microfiber cloth. I just wipe them off. You saw me wiping them down, and they'll stay pretty clean. They also do not suggest that they be hung anywhere where direct sunlight is going to hit them. So I keep them in the back of my studio on the wall uh, in the back section because I do have sunlight that bounces around in here early in the morning. And then finally, the prints themselves, they're very light, essentially because they're aluminum, so they're not real heavy, so they're easy to hang. I do have the hanging apparatus mounted to the back, as you can see, so it's very easy for people to hang. And you know, aluminum prints are just really, I say, neat and really cool. I think people have specific spaces, whether it's an office space or a man cave or just some space where they want a piece of art, they want a photograph, but they don't want a traditional type photograph and maybe they don't want a frame. They want something to really stand out and grab you. So that's where I think an aluminum print really, really fits the need. And then finally, these aluminum prints, it's very interesting. As people come into my studio, they gravitate to the aluminum print. They always want to reach out and touch them. They just, there's something about it, the shine, the gloss, it's just people just want to touch them. So what I've done is I've bought a small aluminum print. It's the Eiffel Tower, and I, I just have it hanging, and it says, touch me. So I invite people, hey, if you want to touch it, you want to see what it's like, touch this one, that's okay, not a problem. Try not to touch the other ones. All right. So, hey, that's, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. And be on the lookout for more videos. And until next time, have a good day.